Introducing the Smoking Gun by Breville. Used in professional kitchens and bars around the world, Breville have updated their commercial version for the home kitchen. You can now effortlessly add a smoky flavour to all your food and drink creations at home. With the Smoking Gun, you can add a rich, smoky flavour to all sorts of foods, like sauces, nuts, meats, cheese, cocktails, you name it. Using the Smoking Gun is simple. It comes with everything you need to get started. There's applewood and hickory wood chips that you just place a pinch of into this metal chamber here. You take whatever you plan on smoking and create a container for the smoke to sit in. The idea here is to get the food and smoke in contact to really infuse that smoky flavour. You can use things like bowls with cling or plastic wrap film, containers, blenders, food processors, or even something as simple as a Ziploc bag. I've got a barbecue sauce here resting in a container covered in cling wrap film. Then I'm going to take the hose, put it into the container, turn the gun on and ignite the wood chip burn chamber. Make sure you seal around the hose, leaving a little bit of airflow, which is good for flavour infusion. I like to start on high, which is a bit more powerful and ignites the wood chips easier. Then turn it down to low, which is a bit gentler to finish off the smoke. Then you just cover that up and let it sit for a few minutes. Swirl or stir the food so it gets maximum contact with the smoke. This is particularly good for loose items like popcorn. Now, let's look at a few other ways you can smoke. In a blender, food processor, litter container, or even a mixer. I'm whipping up a nice guacamole. So all I need to do is pre-infuse and hit blend. This way, the food gets good contact with the smoke before letting it sit again for a few minutes. Finally, let's have a look at a liquid. Making cocktails with the smoking gun is amazing and you want to try this out yourself. If you're shaking up your favourite mix, just add the smoke into the shaker itself, getting a good amount to flow in. Then, just cover it up and swirl your liquid around a little like this, and let it sit. A few minutes later, and voila! The theatre that this adds to your food and drink presentation is something that you and your guests are going to absolutely love. You can use this as part of your tableside presentation. How cool is that? There are so many ways to get creative with the smoking gun. It really is a great product to add to your home kitchen gear, or as an original gift for family and friends that love getting creative in the kitchen or home bar. Now we're gonna show you how to use the Coral UV. The auto mode is recommended for things that need washing, such as your bottles, your plastic toys, as well as your pacifiers. So after you finish washing your bottles, make sure you shake off all the excess water, then you just open the front button of your UV sanitizer. You're going to place your items in. When you place the bottles, please make sure all components are separated. The caps and nipples need to be removed and placed in the coral UV separately. All openings need to face up or to the side. Do not face them downwards. Also, make sure that they are not too close to each other or stacked on top. You can use the basket to place smaller items like nipples. You are going to close the lid and press the auto button. For things that cannot be washed or do not need to be dried, such as plush toys and electronic toys, place them into the Coral UV and simply press the sanitize button. And when the cycle is finished, Coral UV will notify you by beeping.